This is the Connecting to Spirit podcast with your host, Susan Norton. Here, you will find ways for you of connecting to spirit. These are true stories. Welcome. When I was a child, I had a little bit of a troubled childhood, like a lot of people. And uh, I remember several occasions I'd be sitting outside and the hummingbird would come and hover directly in front of my face and just stay there and looking at me. It was in my energy. I could feel it. And we'd look at each other for a while and it would go away. Then it would come back again, perhaps another day. And this happened so frequently that I thought this happened to everyone. I think this was the beginning of my shaman path. When I was going through a difficult time in my life, a time of great transition, I was in the Rocky Mountains for one night in the I believe it was Estes National Park, just outside the park with a friend and my brother. And they, they kinda went to bed and I was walking alone the dark street at night in the dark. And I was really focused on what was going on with my life. And I walked down the road and I remember a car came. And so um, I didn't wanna be seen for some reason so I, I jumped into the bushes and hid until the car went away. And then I realized, well, that's not very safe because um, there could be something in the bushes. <laughs> and it's okay, what was I afraid of? But it's just that hiding, that not wanting to be seen at night by humans. So I was walking down the road towards the national park and it was basically pretty dark. I didn't have a headlight, I didn't have a, a flashlight or any kind of, um, any gear like that and it was a beautiful night and then I said well okay it's time to go home so I started walking back turned around started heading back to the little lodging along the dark road and all of a sudden I felt this like fingers touching the back of my leg and I thought I should turn around what is this and I turned around there was nobody there and I looked down the road and a few hundred feet away from me into the one spot of light in the one street light came a mountain lion it came into the spotlight and turned away from me and headed toward the national park and its tail was as long as the body and it was magical and I just I turned around, I began to walk towards the national park, toward where the mountain lion had gone, and I knew I wasn't going to follow it, I wasn't going to go off the road, but I was just so drawn to this beautiful, beautiful spotting, and what was this soft, it's like a friend tickled the back of my thighs and said, turn around, and in that exact moment, a mountain lion came out into that spot of light. So I walked for a bit and I didn't see it anymore. So I started to say, okay, it's time to head back. I'll go back to my the lodging, the little the little cottage. So I, I headed back toward the cottage and I was walking for a bit. And at one point I just stopped moving completely and I stared into the woods as if something just called to me and in that moment like I stopped there was total silence and then there was this noise in the wood and I thought it's a bear I didn't see it I didn't I just had a feeling that there was a bear in the woods close to me and I thought okay well I'm not gonna go into the woods and chase it or anything but I was I would my goal was to see a bear this night I'd seen a mountain lion I was so happy and so I uh, okay so I start heading back to the cottage again and as I got closer to the cottage it was still a very dark road and 
I began to think, oh my, well, we've got to pack up. We're going to see my friend Ellen. This is it. Uh, we're going to, from here, what are we going to do? I was on holiday in, in Colorado. I was living in Ithaca, New York at the time, and I was spending just a few days in this in this area. And I was leaving this national park area the next morning. And I was deep in thought. And all of a sudden, I walk up, and, and I almost bump into something. So I growled. Oh! And then it growled. There was this big bear growl, much better than my growl. And I took a step back. And I thought, it's a bear. And my eyes adjusted. And it was a black bear. I had walked right up to a black bear in the dark and I growled first and when it growled I felt oh it's a bear as if I had almost bumped into my sister or a loved one and I was oddly calm and I backed up and I took a few steps away and I looked at it. I'm like, finally, I get to see my bear. It's a black bear. It was at a dumpster. It had its nose in a can of beans or something, so it didn't smell me first. And um, so I thought, well, this is great. Finally, I get to see my bear. I'm very close to it. I was a few steps away, and uh, I was next to a van. And right there was the cottage. I could have run inside, and I didn't. So I thought, I'll take a picture. So I turn on my digital camera, but it was facing me so the light wouldn't um, upset the bear. And I began to walk toward it, but at a circular way so I could take a nice picture. And it was totally fine with, it be, with me being there. It was very calm, proceeded to, to do what it was doing, didn't mind me at all, not a bit. And I... I walk toward it like slightly at an angle going a little bit around it like spiraling a little bit closer to get this beautiful picture and I said in my sweetest woman's voice that I had hello how are you and in a shot that bear just took off fast and silently and I was like what how could a bear move that fast, A, eh, and that quietly? And it was gone. And I'm like, oh, man. I didn't get my picture. and uh, But I had this experience that I was face-to-face -face with a bear in the dark. And I growled first, and it growled in return. And in that same night, I had an, a mountain lion cross my path. And I was face to face with a bear. Surely I was on the shaman's path, though I had yet to take any training. The training was to come shortly later. Aho. This has been a Connecting to Spirit podcast with your host, Susan Norton. If you like what you heard, Visit us at connectingtospirit.com forward slash podcast for more listening adventures. Blessings. Oh.